Isaac Newton lived between 1643 and 1727. Newton, from his investigations of projectile motion, realized that the moon behaves as a projectile orbiting the earth. Newton postulated that the force due to gravity between any two objects, such as the earth and the moon, is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers of mass. According to Newton's third law, the gravitational force exerted by one object on another object must be balanced by an equal and opposite force exerted by the second object on the first. So for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. For every force there is an equal and opposite force. And this is true of gravitation. The force due to gravity exerted by the earth on an apple is equal to the force due to gravity exerted on the earth by an apple. As both objects exert an equal and opposite force on the other object, the force due to gravity acting between any two objects must be directly proportional to the product of the masses of both objects. Newton's key realization was that every particle of matter in the universe exerted a gravitational attraction on every other particle of matter in the universe and was subject to the gravitational attraction exerted by every other particle in the universe. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle of matter in the universe with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This can be summarized as F subscript G is proportional to M1 M2 on D squared, where F subscript G is the force due to gravity, M1 and M2 are the masses of the two objects, and D is the distance between the centers of mass of the two objects. Newton used a proportionality constant, capital G, the universal gravitational constant, to mathematically express his universal law of gravitation in the form of an equation. In the form of an equation, Newton's law of universal gravitation is capital F, the force due to gravity between any two objects, equals capital G, the universal gravitational constant, multiplied by M1, M2, the product of their masses in kilograms, over D squared, the distance between their centers of mass in meters. The gravitational constant appears in Newton's Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, which was published in 1687, but it was not in fact measured until Henry Cavendish did so in 1778. Cavendish used a device called a torsion balance, which consisted of a torsion beam with a pair of small lead spheres attached to its arms. Two heavier lead spheres were brought near the smaller spheres attached to the balance. Cavendish used his device to measure the gravitational attraction between the smaller and the larger spheres. Cavendish actually set out to measure the Earth's density by measuring gravitational interactions. He systematically identified and eliminated all sources of error in his measurement, allowing him to obtain a value within 1% of the accepted value today. The value that Cavendish obtained for G was 6.754 by 10 to the minus 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. The value of G has since been measured far more accurately, and the modern value is approximately 6.6740831 by 10 to the minus 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. The value quoted in the HSC data sheets is 6.67 by 10 to the minus 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. We can combine the equation for Newton's second law. F equals ma, force equals mass times acceleration, and Newton's law of universal gravitation, F equals capital G m1 m2 on d squared, to derive an expression for the acceleration due to gravity of any mass. 
such that mg equals capital G little m big M on R squared, where little m and big M are a smaller and larger mass respectively, and R is the distance between the centers of mass of the two objects in meters. Rearranging and simplifying, we get the equation G acceleration due to gravity equals capital G capital M on R squared, where G is acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared, little m is the smaller mass in kilograms, capital M is the larger mass in kilograms, R is the distance between the centers of mass in meters, and G is the universal gravitational constant. Summary. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. You can see in the diagram that the force that one mass exerts on another mass is equal to the force that the second mass exerts on the first. Every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle of matter in the universe, and the force between the two particles is directly proportional to the product of the masses of both particles, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating their centers of mass. This can be expressed as an equation. F, force, in Newtons, equals capital G, the universal gravitational constant, multiplied by m1, m2, the product of the masses of the two objects in kilograms, over d squared, the distance between the centers of mass of the two objects in meters. The acceleration due to gravity, a distance r from a mass m, can be calculated using the formula little g acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared equals capital G, the universal gravitational constant, multiplied by capital M, the mass of the central body in kilograms over r squared, where r is the distance from the center of mass of the central body in meters.